Hello, welcome back to Making Tottenham Hot Spurs again. This is our first episode where we are going to be playing two friendlies against uh, some opposition to get a flavour for FM22. Welcome along. <laughs> Welcome to episode one of Making Tottenham Hot Spurs again as we try to build some silverware for Tottenham and make it an exciting um, time and uh, and do things that other managers haven't been able to do. Uh, my name's Mark and on today's episode we have two friendly games. First of all against saint from France and then Sevilla from uh spain i think it's where the uh, oranges come from um so they are what's going to be uh, happening as you will see we have played two friendlies to date uh, a 2-1 win against charlton forget to be a legend for now uh, a 5-4 win against ipswich and that was a toughie we really did struggle against um ipswich in that particular game um transfer wise not a lot's been happening uh, since you were last with us lots of players um talking about leaving us and what have you um War fagan walcott was sold from underneath me for 130,000 um so he's gone um brooklyn lines foster has gone to sheffield united for 700,000 um Makandi has gone on loan and olawemi I think that is going to Preston for 100, and 100 to, going up to 150,000. Coming in, nobody. That's because we haven't got a lot of money. We have put Lorris on the um, transfer list, though, because uh, we just can't really afford him going forward. So financially, this is what we're looking at. Um, current spend 256. So we're just a little bit over that 100,000 now. Um, a little bit under the 100,000 uh, left to spend on wages so we're gonna have to watch that and our transfer budget is pushing up to about 16 million so we still need to bring some players in but that's not really what the episode's about today the episode today is more about how we get on and uh, watching a little bit of gameplay in FM 22 if you're excited as I am for FM 22 then please please give me that big thumbs up right I'm not going to mess around anymore. Let's get on with our first game of the episode. It's a friendly match away to Saint Etienne from France. And this is the team that will go and face Saint Etienne as we uh, as we look to win some more of our pre-season friendlies. Loris in goal. Sassanion. Uh, um, I can't pronounce his name. Dyer, Tatanga, Tananga, uh, Doherty, and Dambo, Dimboli, uh, Skip, uh, Brian Gill, Ali, uh, Bergwin, and Son up front. Galini, uh, Regalon, uh, Mora, Amiken, uh, Dini, uh, Viner, uh, Agumba, and Giorgio, uh, as well as Winks on the bench. We're still three short on the bench, but uh, that's how it will have to be that's the team that we're putting out against saint Etienne. first uh, half comes next and you join us as the teams come out and we are underway again i need to change this because we have been playing on the laptop which doesn't allow us to have all the screens and in fact, it's all over the place here, so we need to sort this out. We have this visualizer, which is a new thing, I think. Um, changed around slightly. Uh, what we want in here is uh, Sunny Etienne formation. There we go. We're good. Sunny Etienne sending one over, and uh, Loris. Tipping. Well, I don't think he tipped it. I think he made sure it was going over the top. Dembele to Session. Dele Alley. 
song. Skip. Gets it back to Taganga. Doherty. Tenganga. Very slow build up here. Skip. Skip to Son. Son out to Bergwin. Bergwin comes forward. Ball crosses in and Bryn was there. But he... Uh, Brian Gill heading it over the top. Right, we need to do some tweaks, I think, because game speed is a little bit lacking. Camera height. Come down a bit. Camera zoom. That's better. Match speed during highlights. There we go. Match speed during text only highlights. Right, we're good. Get those tweaks sorted. Not a lot going on. I'll perhaps drop them a little bit of encouragement. We have a corner. Son with the corner. It's headed in by Doherty. And uh, what I do like on this new, uh, on FM22, is you actually get to see who's done the assist as well on the screen. That was lovely. Right on his head. Doherty getting his header in there. And we go one up after 34 minutes. And as you'll see on the screen there, just uh, Son's name underneath. Sessignon with the throw into Dembole, who uh, nearly lost the ball. But uh, I think we might have a penalty. We have got a penalty. Tripped in the box. Can we go two up for half time? Deli Alley has put that away in the corner, makes it 2 0. Uh, two minutes into injury time in the first half. Well put away. And half time has arrived. Good start to this game. 14 shots, 5 on target, 2.23 on the XG against their 3 no shots on target, 0 0.04. We've had 64% of the possession and we'll be back for the second half. And you come back and join us for the second half. We are a few minutes in. <laughs> I don't know this is FM22 and I need to, um, to have a look into this. Um, but where we used to be able to pause it and uh, run it from kickoff of the second half... Um, the little button here to pause had disappeared, which di didn't allow me to do it. So, ah, that's going to cause me problems, I can see. Right, OK, we're back underway. Doherty to skip to D Deli Alley. Dembele, oh, is it the framework? And it did run out to whoever this was, Bergwin, but um, he wasn't having any of it. Of putting it away. I think he was um, he caught it by surprise, really. Um, right. Prost and Albert Ubert have been changed. As Sanetio making other changes, Romero's gone here. This is a new change. You didn't used to see who the changes were being made, so that's good. We're going to 70 minutes, and I think it's time for us to make some changes as well. Let's have a look. Who's not been performing? Anybody? No, we've all been performing quite well. Who's tired? Uh, Skip is definitely tired, so we'll switch him for Harry Winks. Anybody else looking overly tired? No, I don't think so. Right, we'll just change Harry Winks for the minute then. This being a friendly, we can make lots of changes, if we so wish. Get the game back underway. And not a lot doing. Brian Gill has taken a knock and wants to come off. All right, let's um, let's make that change then. Brian Gill for Lucas Mora. And here is a free kick. Dele Dyer to Demboli. Back to Dyer. Cessignon. Dyer. Wicks. 
Dambole looking for Bergwin, but it was a bit too tight to the goalkeeper. Dyer with a header down. Dembole to Deli Alley. Winks pushing it through again. Too much on it. Headed down this time, and they could get back on a goal. Garnier, Garner. Oh, it's hit the framework. Session gets rid of it. Right. We are 83 minutes in. I think we'll make some more changes. Deli Alley looks tired. Giorgio can come on for him. Matt Doherty. Regillion. Tanganga. Meekin. Okay, making a raft of changes now just to uh, get everybody stretching their legs in this friendly. 2 0 we lead. Bergwin has taken a knock as well. I hope this isn't going to be the story of us uh, getting lots of injuries. That's not good this early in the season. Well, not even in the season, really. Throw in from Saint Etienne, and they are coming forward now. It's more attacking from them than we've seen for a long while. He's uh, trying to get pull out. Oh, and Garnier getting one back. Or has it been disallowed? It's been disallowed, which was uh, quite good. De Bale has given everything. And Dini coming on for him. Jordan Dini. It's Dyer to Viner. Viner looking for Giorgio. Giorgio, he's been felled by a player already been booked with no further bookings. And we're going back to see the disallowed goal. There he is. He's offside when the ball comes in. Not convinced it came off one of our players, to be fair. But uh, final score then. Tottenham 2, San Etienne 0 is that one. Promising result at this stage. Congratulations. And uh, that's that match. And what we're going to do, we've got a couple of injuries. Only a couple of days for Bryn Gill. But uh, Bergwin, a little bit longer. Seven to two weeks should be back for the start of the season, hopefully. Um, that's it. Uh, we'll move straight on to our next game, which is going to be against Sevilla. And you come back. This is the team that we are putting out to face Sevilla in our second game of the episode. Loris in goal, Davis, a Rodon, a Romero and Doherty in defence. Dembele and Heisberg in central midfield with Brian Gill, Ali and Lucas Mora in attacking midfield. Son up front, Gallini, uh, and I won't go through all the bench, not on this occasion, quite a few um, actually on the bench. We'll be back with the first half. And you come and join us as the teams have come out onto the pitch and we are underway in this, our second friendly of the episode. Doherty throws to Dembele, crosses in. Oh, and Brian Gill gets on the end of that. I think he's going to be offside. It's ruled out, yeah. He's offside here. And Davis pushes that ball into the area and uh, cancelled out. A corner now on that far side, 18 minutes in. Ben Davis with the cross in. It's headed over the top by Romero. And uh, not a lot of difference between the two sides. Uh, early doors. So Sevilla having more shots. Certainly have. On, a, a ta uh, on target, that's for sure. 
and they are coming forward. But we've cut that out. Radon, kill, cut that out. Heidberg to Romero. Romero to Heidberg. Mora. Mora comes forward, finds Deli Alley, who tries to curl one in, but uh, wasn't quite on target. And they build attack from the back. As you'll see, a lot more. The animation's a lot better in FM22 compared to FM21. You see the way they turn back and swivel, whereas before it was very animated and looking a lot more like real life. Looking for a way through, looking for their build-up. I mean, Suso has gone raking across midfield. Ocampos is out on his own. He's going to try and get this crossing, which he does, and puts it on the head of Nazire. And uh, it's a goal for Zavila. His man, Romero, couldn't get up with him. And Brian Gill, it says, is suffering. We're on half time, so we will make the changes at half time. And half time comes. It looks like Brian Gill is going to get taken off. Um, we'll be back for the second half. And you join us at the start of the second half as we Son gets the game underway. Dombele, Heisberg, Doherty, Mora managed to get it started at the start. That's only because it came up quickly and I did click it quick it <laughs> click it quickly, not quick it. Oh dear, that's another game. Heidberg going all the way back to Loris, Romero, Roden, Dembele as we build again. Delhi, Heidberg, Son. Son was tackled and it is a free kick. Ben Davis with the free kick. He's taking a shot and it's just a whisker over the top. It looked like they were lining up for a corner then, but uh, wasn't to be. They have a free kick just inside our half. 57 minutes gone. Moving the ball around nicely. And Nazire, he's the man who's got the second one. Two in this game. All right. We probably need to be looking at changes on the basis that we've not really been in this. Who's not playing well? Lucas Mora, he's not playing. McKendy can come on. McKendy, Jeremy McKendy. We've had him before in other saves. Son, not on Son. Um, Roden, not having a good game. Eric Dyer can come on for him. Loris, I would say, is having a game. We'll bring Galini on for him. Mac Do uh, Matt Doherty. I'll bring Tananga on for him. I think we'll leave that as the changes for the minute. Now, what I didn't do there uh, was I was actually going to say we need to try this uh, defensive midfielder rolls out as well. This is a rerun of the goal. A lovely build up play in Naziri. Just run into that little bit of space. Romero again, not marking him. Um, Probably too late, but do we need to? Oh, not tight marking, tackling hard on the wrong foot, and also press him. Tananga gets the ball forward, but only as far as Fernando. And they come forward again. Oh dear. Oh, hit the post. Looked awfully like we were going to uh, 
going to suffer there. I thought we'd crash then for a minute. I thought we crashed. <laughs> Dembele has uh, he's run his game. Harry Winks coming on for him. Right. Do we have defensive midfielders? We do. Uh both of those defensive midfielders so we could actually try the tactic winks right, I think what we need to do and get out of there first is pull them back into this position here defensive midfielder on support and Heidberg he can also play in that defensive midfield role on support as well Going to change Deli Alley into a shadow striker and just see if that makes any difference. We haven't had a shot on target at all, all game. McKendy picking up a yellow card. We do have a free kick through Ben Davis, Heisberg, Romero to Heisberg. It's gone for Deli Alley. Oof. Very nearly. Certainly looked a bit better. And Deli Ali's tired now. Romero heads that out. I think it was the defender headed it out. Son tries to get it back in, but we've lost the ball. And uh, Deli Ali coming off. Who's going to come on for him? Can't bring Dumboli on. Nobody to bring on. Um. Kendi can go in there and then Deli Ali again we can't take anybody off and we're we're stuck basically oh no I've done that wrong where was where was he Um, Left-sided defence, Eric Dyer. Uh, he can play in that position, and Regulian can play on the left side where he is, and Deli Ali. We are stuck here, aren't we? Really are stuck. Um, because I want to bring on Cessignon, Ryan Cessignon. I suppose Regalian can go back into this position. And then Davis can come off. And we can bring Ryan Cessignon on that wing. Right. Sorted. Got there. Took a long while to do it. But we did do it. And we're back underway. Well, we will be when I press the button. Swapped around. Deli Ali's going to have to stay out there, even though he's tired. Son. It's headed back out. Their defending is very good. Son to Romero. Back to Son. Son. Heisberg. And he's gone all the way back to Galini. Dyer. Romero. Hodgeberg, McKendy. He's got it through to Deli Ali, and Deli Ali's fouled. And a penalty it will be. Deli Ali put one away in our first game. And he's put it away, same place. And we've got one back, but it's too late, I think. Too little, too late. And he's put that right in the corner where he did. In the previous game and that is game over we've lost 2-1 to Sevilla got back into it in that second hand well, with the defensive midfield perhaps we'll do that on the next um, the next uh, games that you won't see um, I will look at uh, doing that 
disappointed uh, or should have won that match. Right, let's get through to this screen, have a look at the schedule and tell you when we'll be back. We've still not got a draw for the Euro Cup second, the, uh, the conference thingy, but we will be back for the first game in the Premier League against Crystal Palace, which is away from home, and then the uh, Euro Cup uh, second round, the conference uh, thingy, we'll be back for that. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all the future episodes of this series. And, of course, when we move on to the full-blown um, version of FM22, when we bring the new series out then as well. New episodes of Making Tottenham Hot Spurs Again are currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date with all that's happening with the FM22 save and lots more, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next episode. It'll be episode 2... And it's out on Monday. Until then, I bid you a fond farewell. <laughs>